This short video is from a comprehensive course on Udemy. In this video, we'll look into role playing and see how it is another way to create effective prompts for ChatGPT. In addition, we'll touch briefly on how role playing scenarios can help train AI. Essentially, Role playing is the process of stepping into a character's shoes and providing context specific responses that strive to reflect human to human interactions. This process can lead to more appealing and user friendly responses. It isn't just for entertainment purposes, it's actually an effective tool for developing artificial intelligence, especially when training ChatGPT. When we use role playing scenarios while interacting with AI, we're developing vast data sets that helps AI learn the many ways humans communicate. This includes emotional cues, idioms, and the context that informs our dialogue. So you might be asking yourself, what does it mean to train ChatGPT or AI in general? Well, it's the process of teaching AI systems to learn from data and perform specific tasks. So now let's take a quick look at three different role playing prompts. Each one will show a different aspect of how this can be a great way to enable the AI system we're working with to more effectively generate the responses that we're looking for. So here we are on the main screen for ChatGPT, and down here you can see that I've entered in our first role playing prompt. Let's take a look. What is the proper way to divide fractions? Answer me as a sixth grade teacher. So for our first prompt, we're having ChatGPT step into the role of a sixth grade teacher. And I'll slide on over here, click this, and see what we get. And here we see the response. Having been a teacher myself in the past, just a quick glance at this response, and I would say, hey, I could take this, I could use this in a classroom setting, at the very least, as a basis for diving into a lesson on fractions. So going back to our prompt up here, what makes this a good role playing example, especially when factoring in the response? So this is a good prompt for a few different reasons. Right off the bat, in the prompt itself, we have clarity and simplicity. The prompt asks a pretty basic, straightforward question, and the AI takes that and gives us a very straightforward response. Nothing tricky here, nothing confusing. What you see is what you get. And when explaining mathematical concepts, this can be a good thing. We also have contextual learning represented here. The prompt sets a clear context for the response. We need this question answered at a sixth grade level. So the answer must fit that audience. Easy to understand, but accurate. We are putting chat GPT in the shoes of a sixth grade teacher, and it has to operate from that perspective when factoring in all the data it has not only on fractions, but on teaching. And speaking about all it knows about teaching, the prompt isn't so rigid that it limits ChatGPT to a specific teaching strategy. So we really do get to see the communication skills of ChatGPT as it explains the process of dividing these fractions. So here's our second role playing prompt. Is Minecraft a good game? Answer me as a 10 year old boy. And right away, this could be interesting because you're kind of asking an opinion question here. But if you know any hardcore Minecraft fans, you know this 10 year old boy is going to lay out a good case as to why this is a good game. So I would think it would go beyond opinion, but we'll see. Okay, so we have our response here, and this is a little shorter than I thought it would be. And yes, at first glance, this does appear to be written by a 10 year old boy. And although there is an opinion expressed here, this kid definitely likes the game. He does lay out some aspects of the game to back up his opinion. So although brief, I would say that this is a good role playing prompt because we ask AI to step into the shoes of a 10 year old boy. And it does, it does take on that character or persona. So now we've got our third role playing prompt example. How do I effectively manage my time? Answer me as a professional and experienced life coach. It is a question that some of us wrestle with 
how we manage our time is a big deal. It factors into how successful we can be in different aspects of our life, different areas. And we're putting ChatGPT in the shoes of a life coach. So it's going to draw from all the information it has from all different kinds of life coaching sources to give us an answer. So here we go. Let's take a look and see what it does. So we've got a response here. And just for me personally, I love what I'm seeing right off the bat. And we've been given here a step-by-step -step process broken down into sections of how we can tackle this. And so these are actionable responses that could benefit us beyond this conversation. And you can see that by putting ChatGPT into the shoes of this life coach, and just by asking for a professional and experienced perspective, we get a great response. The more personalized we get with the role that we give ChatGPT, the more informative the responses can be. And we really see how this can address our specific questions or concerns within the prompt that we give it. We can also see with these steps on how to manage our time and the information given that ChatGPT has stepped into this role and is showcasing its expertise to us in this life coaching area concerning time management. Very beneficial insights here. So here's your chance to put some roles into action with prompt creation. Maybe you want to learn more about the game of cricket from the perspective of a 10-year veteran, or what it takes to fly a jet airplane and land it on an aircraft carrier from a battle-hardened Air Force pilot. Whatever the subject of your choice is, go ahead at home and create an effective role-playing prompt that provides you with detailed information on that subject. And feel free to develop that role with the prompts we looked at, the shoes that we put ChatGPT in. We're defined, but you could go deeper with that. Exploring that role and making it broader can definitely affect the answers that AI is going to generate for you. So in this video, we got a good look at how role playing can help us create very effective prompts for ChatGPT or any other AI chatbot and generate great content for us, great responses to the questions that we have. In the next video, we'll be taking a look into ChatGPT email assistance.